You can pretty much write your own magazine and have it published right within wherever you want it to be. You have content featured right up here with all the major magazines and blogs. Get subscribers, get your audience to read your content, and uh, if you just want to read, there's tons of content you can find on here. I just have a little stuff. Um, still playing with it. It's really great software. So you sign in with your Google account. It's called Google Currents Producer and basically you have these sections here you have a little test system here so you could do demos it's pretty much fully operational uh, you could swipe over I'm clicking with my finger and you could go back um, you can see what it looks like this is on an Android device you can see what it looks like on a main tablet as you can see up here this extends out longer how I have it designed what it looks like on an iPhone and how it looks on an iPad you could also rotate the device and see what it looks like that way. Basically what you have here are different settings. You can create any type of magazine as you want. It's free. You basically just go up here to create new. You type in the name of it. You could throw in an RSS feed, a blog, uh, you know, whatever you have. If you have videos on YouTube, you basically just put in your username and go from there. So once you get that put up, uh, it'll if you have that default section, you basically get pre-made little theme. Um, you could do an editor icon, which is what becomes the app icon, a splash a splash image, which is basically a default image that would go through the main thumbnail. You could collect email addresses, I guess, for mailing list or information. You could set up your Google Analytics. Um, name and description, which basically informs people what your app is. Uh, we're going to call it apps, but they're basically ad additions. Um, sections here, you could add all different types of sections. Uh, photos, articles, feed, video channel, social updates, and a table of contents, which keeps everything organized. Uh, this channel right here really doesn't have much other than just videos. Um, but I'm obviously going to expand up on it soon. So you can manage articles here in your video section. Um, delete some if you don't want to have any in here. Um, you can basically click it and just take it right off. Your media libraries where you could upload graphics and stuff if you want to do custom uh, CSS information and you know all that HTML goodness. Distribute, you can set it up if you own the content. You can test it on the iPad. Um, you have a little thing here, it tells you what to do. This is where you delete your edition in the distribute. So we're going to go back here to the settings. We're going to check out my Tumblr blog and it should load right up. And there you go. I have a custom theme right here. It's just a purple background. Uh, you know, there's not much to it. If you want to customize how it looks, you're going to go into sections and then you're going to click on the section and the header section basically needs to be changed through custom. You're going to edit this information if you're not too tech savvy with coding. Um, you might have a hard time. Uh, I managed to be able to remove certain sections and do different things that I want. Right now, this is pretty much default. Um, you can, the basic settings through default, it's just adding a background color right here. Um, as you can see, it's just like a purple background. No, t no banners, no logos up top. They really need to add a section here where you can just click on, you know, upload, you know, header banner. Um, but in the time being, this just came out. I'm sure it'll be updated a lot. Uh, <clears throat> that's all you can do. So you can change what the article template looks like after you click on the article. So you can see here, it's just the same. This is what it looks like on a tablet. I had set up in a photos theme, background color. This is what it looks like on a phone. The photos theme, was, again, you can set up to be same as a tablet. You have tabloid, photos, videos, list, none, and custom. Again, custom, you can do whatever you want and change different things if you're savvy enough with all that. Um, that's pretty much a quick look at how it works. Uh, Google Currents is 100% free. Um, there will be ads, though, in the future. Um, right now, there are no ads, so that's a cool thing. Enjoy it while it's there. Um, Google makes really great products. 
This is similar to Flipboard, but it takes it to a whole new level because it basically lets you be the publisher. We are giving this app five stars because it is pretty darn awesome. Um, it lets you be an online publisher and create really great looking uh, digital magazines and content. Um, you could pretty much have a website operational right here 